Well, hello and welcome to the vlog. It is Tuesday. Come on, Doyle. Let's go. Get out of the office because no longer need that. It is the evening time. Work was busy today for me, so um, I just took a shower. <laughs> like, ah! Normally what I do, I don't know if I should like say what I do, but here's what I do. So in the morning, I won't clock in, but I'll log in in the morning and I'll see kind of what the workload is like and then decide if I want to log in early, maybe sleep in a little bit, <laughs> you know, whatever. I'm an hour lead employee, so I can really log in and get my work done whenever, kind of. So anyways, like I don't have a set time that I have to be logged in at. So anywho, today I logged in and I was like, oh crap, there's a lot going on in my inbox. So I was like, well, I better get the day started. Normally what I do is I'll, you know, kind of get ready for the day, make some coffee, have some breakfast, take a little shower, whatever. Sometimes I'll take a night shower as well, um, but it just kind of depends. But um, yeah, today was a, uh, holy moly, I need to get my day started. Like I didn't even have a cup of coffee, I didn't even have breakfast. I just started working. That's how that day started. <laughs> but today I am, oh, you know what? Hold on. Let's talk about something else that came in the mail first because this thing is like the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Hold on. Oh my good God. It's so pretty. It's holographic tumbler. It says go wild SoCal. And I have it personalized. And it says FDE, yeah. It's so pretty. I will leave the shop link down below. She's got lots of different things besides Go Wild tumblers, um, but her name is Kim Records, I believe. Don't quote me on that. And it's Glitter Laboratory, and she's got tumblers of all different sizes and different types of styles. I think she even does custom ones. Um, but yeah, it took a while to get here just because of the customization. Um, but I will say, like, you know, like, I can like scrape my nail over this, it, but it's like coated inside. So I don't know what she does to this, but like the glitter is not gonna like chunk off. It does say to hand wash this. So um, yeah, but it's like so beautiful. It's all hand done. Um, yeah, and then the top has one of these little guys that kind of open up like this and they can put hot or cold things in here. So I'm very excited. I'm going to bring this with me to Go Wild California um, when we go to Anaheim next year. But in the meantime, I'll just use it because why the hell not? So anyway, that came yesterday and I was very excited about it yet I had a migraine so that didn't really pan out. I still need to wash this which is why it's sitting out still, um, but I will get that washed up. Uh, probably tomorrow, but anyways, Doyle is up there. He knows I am leaving him. Oh, but I'm going to my my mom's, or my mom. I always say it's my mom's, then people are like, are your parents, like, did they get divorced? I'm like, no, my dad would live in a shoebox if you let him, so um, that's just like who he is as a person. He doesn't really care, but I always call it my mom's house or my mom's place, <laughs> like, because let's be honest, she's the one that makes all the decisions for the most part. Um, and it works that way for them, so why, why not? Don't fix what's not broken, you know? Anyway, all right, Doyle gets a little treat because I'm leaving. Here you go, bud. You want it? Nope, okay, put on your mat. Anyways, but anyway, she sent me a text last night and said that her channel 11 was not working. So my parents don't have cable at their place in Minnesota. They have just like an antenna on their roof and every once in a while, Channel 11, that's like the NBC affiliate here, seems to always go out. So all you have to do, cause they have like a smart TV, is you have to just like reprogram it to find the channels. Trying to talk her through that is like a little bit more difficult. So plus I need to go and like navigate it anyways because I don't have the same TV. So to tell them to do something that I can't see is probably gonna be really difficult. It's just way easier to go over there and just like scan the channels and do it. So. Um, she just called and was like, hey, you're coming over? I'm like, yes, I'm coming over. We're just really busy at work and I took a shower, so I am on the way. But um, I told her, I was like, you're gonna laugh when you see what I do. So she's like, yeah, probably. So anyway, I'm gonna go over there now. It's about six o'clock and um, yeah, I'm gonna head over there and get that done for them and then come back. So that is the plan. 
nothing uh, too incredibly exciting going on. So, but that's my life, you guys. You know what you clicked on. You know what kind of vlog this is. But I'm gonna see you guys in just a little bit, probably when I'm fixing my parents' TV. So I will see you then, bye. Well, hey, <laughs> I am still like, currently, I guess, still at my parents' place, but went in and adjusted the TV. It's totally fine, by the way. Um, it just needed to like refine the um, channels, basically. So you just have to like, I don't know, refine the channels. So my mom didn't know how to do that because you know you have to go into the settings and all that good stuff. Anyway, forgot to vlog while I was in there, and we watched what was it? America's Got Talent. I don't know. We we're watching something, um, but I feel like it was lasting a long time. And I'm like, okay, I gotta go home. Um, I still haven't eaten dinner, and it's like 8:30. Oh no. It's 8.40 now. Awesome. Um, I'm debating, ugh, like, I don't really have anything good at home. Not that I really have anything good in the first place. I'm debating if I wanna like go through a drive-through, but ugh, I don't know if I should do that or if I'm just gonna be like up all night. Ugh, I don't know. Maybe I'll go, okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go buy the McDonald's and see what the line looks like because sometimes the line looks real cray cray because there's not much available in my area, sadly. So let's go check it out. I will show you if I get something. So, I don't know. I hope because it's like 8.40 that the line won't be insane, but sometimes it is. <laughs> so anyways, um, all right, I will check in when things get more interesting. Hopefully I will have some food. Bye. Okay, here's the deal. Nobody was in line. There's like one person ahead of me. Um, so yeah, that's very exciting. Probably because it's like now almost 9 p.m. <laughs> I think they close like pretty early now just because of COVID and all that stuff. So um, yeah. And then this location, I think a lot of other locations are doing this too, I'm not totally sure. Jody, let me know if this is right. Um, but like it says they're offering a limited menu, so they're not offering everything, just you know, because of all the things, and I'm sure supply chain's been just a nightmare. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I'm about to pull up and get my food, and then I'll show you what I got when I get home. All right, Bye. so I am home. It is so weird, by the way, for it to be like somewhat light out after 9 p.m. Just freaking weird. It's just so strange. Anyway, that's what uh, June in Minnesota will get you. Anywho, so I got my number nine meal, which I almost ordered a number two meal, which this used to be the number two meal. It's no longer. It's a two cheeseburger meal. It's my favorite. I've loved it since I was a little, a little tyke. Um, so yeah, but that's what I got. So that's, that's what I got y'all. That's, that's what I got. Yeah. Anyway, but I'm going to eat this while it's hopefully still slightly warmish. Uh, Doyle is down there. He is smelling me because I was just at Grammy's and he's probably wondering why he was not allowed to come with. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, um, I'll have to explain to him why he wasn't allowed there, but. We'll see. Anyway, well, we're gonna go out on a little pee-pee adventure. I'm gonna eat my delicious foods, and um, I'll just uh, see you guys in a little bit. Bye. Okay, hi. It is a little while later, and I don't know if I've vlogged on the sofa yet during this whole vloom situation. I don't know, but I have a funny, kind of weird anecdote story for you today. Are you ready? Are you ready? So today, this afternoon, I took Doyle out because now that I'm home, he wants to go pee, like, all the time, guys, all the time. So basically, when I have to go out to get to go to the bathroom, he goes to the bathroom. Now, we go out, well, he's going back, he's going upstairs. He doesn't wanna listen to this story, he's so offended. <laughs> anyway, it was around, like a little bit right before lunchtime, and, um, you know, in my area, uh, my mail comes anywhere from, like, 10 to noon, like somewhere in there, right? So I had um, taken him out and I was like, oh, well, I should go grab the mail, you know? It's about that time, see if I have any mail. So I go grab the mail and the like lawn maintenance service people are around. And it's like a man and a woman team. I don't 
know their relationship to each other. I don't know if they just work with each other, but they've been doing our lawn service for a couple of years. I think a couple of years. Anyways, I've never like really met them because they're usually like riding on lawn mowers and things like that. And I'm normally out with the dog and the dog doesn't like that. So I've um, never really met them before. I'm walking down to the mailbox and the like guy is kind of walking towards me, but on the other side of the street. And so I didn't think anything of it. I mean, he's got his sunglasses on. I can't see if he's like looking at me or not, whatever. I go look for the mail, grab the mail, and then I'm walking back and he says, is that a dingo? I'm like, I'm like, oh, are you, are you talking to me? Like I couldn't see cause his eyes, like, you know, like I said, they were, and there was other people outside too. And he's like, yeah, is that one of those Australian dingoes? I'm like looking at him like, I'm like, oh my dog? He's like, yeah, is that one of the dingoes? I'm like, no. No, he's that no, that's 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 not that's not the breed of dog. I don't know, I was just like confused. I'm like, what is happening? And then like he's like, are you sure? I'm like, yeah. I'm o I, yeah, yeah, I'm sure. And then I finally offer the information. I said, he's a Shiba Inu. And that's a Japanese breed of dog. And he's like, oh yeah, I know what a Shiba Inu is. Yeah, 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 I can see that. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I was just so confused. And then like, he's walking this whole time, right? And then at the very end, he goes, how much? And I was just like taken aback. I'm like, what? How much? And I said, how much what? And he's like, how much? I'm like, what? And then he's like, how much? <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, for what? And he said, for the dog. And I was like, well, the dog isn't for sale. And he's like, no, how much did you pay for him? And I said, I have no idea. I said, he's 13 and a half and I got him 13 years ago. I can't remember. And he's like, well, just like a rough estimate. I'm like, I, I li 13 years ago, sir, I don't remember. <laughs> Anyways, um, so he just like walked by, like he just like, he's like, okay. <laughs> it was like the whole covers, it was so freaking weird, you guys. And then of course, now I was thinking like, okay, so I got back in, opened the mail, got all the things I needed. And then I went back upstairs and I was like, well, how much was he? <laughs> Trying to think back to all the transactions I've had in my life 13 years ago, trying to recall it in like a split second. I literally thought that this guy wanted to buy my dog. Cause he's like, how much? How much for the dog? Like, what? <laughs> so confused. Anyway, I think he like didn't want to buy Doyle. He just wanted to know how much that breed of dog costs. And again, 13 years ago, even if I could recall whatever price it was, I, I can tell you for sure it was less than a thousand dollars and I did get him from a breeder in like southwestern Minnesota. They were in Worthington, Minnesota. Um, I do remember that, but um, I have no idea, but I know it was less than a thousand dollars. But um, gosh, I wanna say it was like five or six hundred dollars. Like it wasn't like huge amount of money. I mean, it was, it, it was, you know, considerable, but it wasn't like crazy. Again, that was 13 years ago. I don't know how much, like, I I don't know. I mean, you can get dogs for free on this, and then you can also get dogs that are like thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. Like, I, but yeah, that was just super weird, very random. I just, I felt propositioned a little bit. Actually, Doyle was kind of propositioned in a way. Um, but uh, he wanted nothing to do with the guy because the guy had like one of those leaf blowers and Doyle is not all about that life. So anyway, uh, moral of the story, Doyle is not for sale, nor is he a dingo, even though this guy thinks he was, but he was not. And I can't recall financial transactions that I had 13 years ago. Those are the big takeaways from this conversation. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna go. And I'm gonna go to bed because it's like 10 o'clock at night. Actually, probably past 10 o'clock now. Um, but yeah. So, oh, the dingo is back. Hold on. Doyle! The leaf blower man wanted to buy you today. Oh, nope. Okay. Well, Doyle's thinking it's time to go out, anyways, which means it's 
it's time, it's time to go out, it's time to go to bed and be done for the day. But that's gonna be it, I hope you guys enjoyed my weird story. <laughs> it's just, it was so strange. Like, how much for the dog? <laughs> Oh gosh, I'll be laughing about that one for a little while. Anyways, have you guys, if you have an animal that walks on a leash, have you ever been propositioned or felt like you were being propositioned to sell your animal? That was weird, right? Or am I just like reading it way into it? I don't know. I don't think I've ever had anyone ask like how much he costed since he was like a puppy. Like, like the first like maybe month or two I had him. I think some people inquired, but that was it. But like the cost of the it actual like animal is like nothing compared to like all the vet bills and you gotta get them fixed and they have to have surgery and just like all this stuff. Like the first year is just like astronomical, um, you know, with bills and stuff. But eh, not so much anymore, hopefully. Knock on wood, knocking on wood here. And uh, yeah. Just so, it's just so weird. Okay, I'm gonna go because I'm just like giggling to myself in my townhouse like by myself. I mean Doyle's here too. Hey buddy. But I mean he's just he's just judging me now. <laughs> so anyway, anyone ever been propositioned to have someone possibly buy their animal? That's weird. Doyle's not for sale y'all. Um, you wouldn't want him anyway. He's a pain in the ass. <laughs> right buddy? You pain in my butt? Yeah. Yeah. Pain in the butt right there. Okay, I'm gonna stop yapping my flap and I'm gonna go. It was nice to see you guys today. Um, I will see you tomorrow for another vliggity vlog. I don't have anything exciting going on that I know of. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the good word. That is the good word for today. So anyway, make sure to thumbs up if you like it. Make sure to subscribe for more. Um, and I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow for another vlog and Doyle is now up here. So Doyle wants to say goodbye. You wanna say bye to the vlog, little boy? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Ow, his paws. <laughs> Ow, seriously? Dog, stop. Okay, we're gonna go and we'll see you later. Bye. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel good.